Hey, what's up guys? Sandra Olson Talski. I'm giving you my predictions for UFC Fight Night Physia vs. Cameron. It goes down tomorrow, Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Prelims begin at 4. It's going down from the Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. So first fight up, we have Montserrat Rendon against Tamaris Vidal. I think Rendon. I want to say she just fought not too long ago. I could be wrong. No, she was in Invicta. She fought last fall. She was, she's going up against Vidal, and Vidal is a tough girl here. Um, six fight win streak. Last fought in November against Ramona Pasquale. And uh, was that fight at Bantamweight? Yeah, it was at Bantamweight. Um, but I'm going to go with Vidal here to pick up the win. Mizuki Inua against Hannah Goldie. I like Inua. She hasn't fought in a few years. But she had a lot of hype, actually, when she came into that Lemos fight. There was a lot of hype around her. Lemos ended up winning, but I'm going to side with Inua here. Jake Collier against Mohamed Usman. I'm going to side with Usman here. I mean, I I think the guy did do a pretty good job in his last fight against Junior Taffa because Junior Taffa is a dangerous guy. And uh, there was times where I thought Taffa really kind of might have had Usman hurt. But um, Usman hung in there, beat Zach Poaga, who I think is a good win too. So I, I do like the way Usman looks. And it just looks like Collier is kind of on the way out here, man. He's on a three-fight losing skid. So it's just kind of really hard to see what this guy's doing or what he's up to. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side with Usman. Jacob Melkoon against Cody Brundage. Wow, Cody Brundage just, yeah, I absolutely, I'm surprised you're giving him another shot here. I know he took this fight on short notice because uh, somebody pulled out of the fight, but he absolutely got schooled by, by Dumas in his last fight. The guy looked like he didn't even want to be in there. Jacob Malkoon is a, a training partner of Robert Whitaker. He's got a great ground game. I'm going to side with Malkoon here, man. I think he might potentially get Brunage out of there. Tim Means against Fialo. I, I, I'm siding with Fialo here, I think, but I mean, I... These loser leaves town fight, man. So I won't be surprised either way. Miles Johns against Dan Argueta. I'm gonna side with Dan Argueta here. Charles Jordan against Ricardo Ramos. Um, I'm gonna side with Jordan here, man. The guy absolutely dominated Cron Gracie in his last fight, and Cron should be cut. Cron looked horrible. Um, tough losses to Burgos and Wood. No shame in that. Um, but Jordan is still a good fighter. Ramos. Kind of had high expectations for him too. He's on a he's on a one fight winning streak against Danny Chavez. Wow, he hasn't fought in a long time. But uh, you know he's dropped the ball a few times. I'm gonna side with Jordan. Battle against Fletcher. Fletcher badly needs a win here. Um, he is on a one fight winning streak. He beat Garumbo. But uh, I'm gonna side. I'm gonna side with um, Brian Battle here, man. Brian Battle's looked pretty good. His only loss is to Renat. You know, no shame in losing to Renat. Beat Gabe Green very quick. I'm going to side with Battle here, but two two good two good prospects at 170, man. Marina Rodriguez against M Michelle Watterson Gomez. Hopefully, Marina Rodriguez looks a lot better than she looked. Against Amanda Lemos last fall. That was absolutely horrible. Oh, no, she actually lost to Verna Jindaroba. So hopefully she looks better, man, because uh, she's lost all the hype she once had. And we got Michelle Watterson Gomez, who should be on the tail end of her career, but she's still a pretty dangerous fighter. She's on a three-fight skid. Doesn't fight nowhere near as often as she once did when she was making a run. Um, but this is Marina Rodriguez's fight. She shouldn't be as big of a favorite as she is. <coughs> Bryce Mitchell against Danny Gay. My initial lean was Bryce Mitchell. I still think the guy could potentially win if Ige can't stop the takedowns. But ige has been on a nice winning streak here. Um, Bryce Mitchell looked absolutely horrible against Tapiria. I'm going to side with Ige here, man, just as, as an underdog. Fiziev against Gamrot. I don't know. I'm feeling more confident as the week goes on about Gamrot. I really do like Gamrot. It's, a, it's kind of like a buy low spot on him. People aren't high on him after, his, after he eked out a decision over Jalen Turner. So that's why people are kind of 
shitting on the guy. You know what I'm saying? He got dropped in his last few fights, but he recovers. Fiziev, he's coming off a split decision loss to, to Justin Gaethje, and we know Gaethje's getting the next title shot um, between the winner of Makachev and Oliveira. So, you know, people are looking at it. It's not as bad. And I'm high on Fiziev, man. I mean, he, he knocked out Dos Anjos, and that was a fight that I thought Dos Anjos had a pretty good chance in, but... Um, and I thought it was kind of 2-2 going into the fifth, but um, of that fight, but Fiziev ended up getting Dos Anjos out of there, but yeah, I mean, this is a, Fiziev wants to keep it standing, Gamrat wants to keep it wrestling, and I just think the value is on the on the wrestler here in Gamrat, but that's just my, that's my takes, guys, so my picks, guys, Gamrat, Ige, Rodriguez, Battle, Jordan, Argueta, Fialo, Malkun, Usman, Inua, in Vidal.